Manual Lands by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 1, Chapter 8F. With nothing but monotony, and with nothing that looks like relief for us, the data of conspiracy, or of cooperation, continued. Upon worthless observations upon the transits of Venus, 1761 and 1769, this Earth's orbit was found by Encke to be about 190 million miles across, distance of the Sun about 95 million miles. Altogether progress had been made toward the wild calculations of Huygens and toward the undomesticated calculations of Romer. So, to agree with this change, if not progress, D'Alembert, taking worthless observations upon the satellites of Jupiter, cut down Romer's worthless determinations, and announced that light crosses the plane of this Earth's orbit in 16 minutes and 32 seconds, as it ought to, Professor Young would say. It was then that the agreeably tainted physicists started spinning and squinting, calculating independently, we are told, that D'Alembert was right. Everything settled, everybody comfortable, see Chambers, Handbook of Astronomy, published at this time, that the sun's distance had been ascertained, with great accuracy, to be 95,298,260 miles.